and I'm guessing many of you would have walked right past it. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. This is my Facebook group, and I'd love for you guys to all join if you haven't already, and come share your best October bolo. In this video, we are talking about items that sold in September for big money. I posted this in my Facebook group and invited everyone in the group to share a big money bolo. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's get started, and I hope that you all find these items. Hi, this is my first post in the group. I bought this for a dollar and sold within a week for asking price of $60 plus the buyer paid shipping. I was super stoked. It is a venter, venter, it is a vintage paper mache corn decoy for hunting geese, ducks, deer. So basically, paper mache corn on the cob. <laughs> 60 bucks, guys. $60. Did you, would you have ever picked it up or would you have walked right past it? Let me know in the comments. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Stellar Seller Sam, and this is her YouTube channel. Check her out. Grab this old military belt buckle off an auction for eight bucks. I always research stuff that looks cool. This took a few months to sell. I accepted an offer of $135 and they paid shipping. It is a World War II belt buckle, Czechoslovakian. Did I say that right? I think I did. Regiment military, rare. Bam, check it out. Here's another one from Stellar Seller Sam. I picked this belt up at the Goodwill for a dollar. It was thick leather, great stitching, and great condition. I couldn't even read the imprinted brand name, though. After a while of Googling, I found the brand to be Mernickel, Mernickel, which is selling these belts for hundreds on their website. So I priced it at 80 and took an offer of 75 Never heard of that brand. This is what it looks like. Bought at a yard sale for 25 cents, tested and fully functional, sold in three days for full asking price. It is a Sony Walkman. And I'm going to say if you have a Walkman and there's not others listed, auction it because some of these Walkmen go for crazy money. This one sold for $35. This one comes from Periwinkle 60 is eBay store, Periwinkle 60. Picked these two brass under cabinet wine glass holders up at an estate sale. Paid four on the last day. Listed them for $44 and received full asking price in less than two weeks. There you go. A lot of things that you may not have picked up. Solid brass bar wine glass stemware rack holder set of two under cabinet mount. So anything that is um, like under the counter, uh, what are those things? Like there's, uh, they're vintage and there's like can openers and different things such as that. What are some of the other ones, you guys? Help me out down in the comments. Definitely a Bolo to be on the lookout for. This one comes from Bolo Buddies members, Childhood Finds. This is her YouTube channel. Check her out. She has some big mana Bolos. She said, I got this at an estate sale where I bought a bulk lot of hats, so only eight cents into it. It was not in perfect condition and sold for $95. If you can find these hats in 100% wool, you are looking at even bigger money. Vintage 90s Los Angeles Raiders Black Arch Starter NFL Hat Cap Snapback as is. All right, here is another one from Periwinkle and Paisley. And her eBay handle is Periwinkle60. It's the one I just told you about. She said, one more. Pick this up at an estate sale for the cool factor. Paid up for it at $25. Love the color the color, and the leather case was in exceptional condition. Unfortunately, my husband couldn't get it to work. I listed it anyway for parts or prop because the condition was so good. Received best offer of 70 in one day. Uh, positive feedback left. That is cool. I found this t-shirt at the Salvation Army for $2.99. It sold for my asking price of $150. Vintage 90s California Casuals in the beginning, God, Lightning, Jesus t-shirt large. So it is a vintage t-shirt that sold for $150. Would you have picked it up or left it behind? I mean, we know concert t-shirts go for big money, 
but this one's a little different and I'm guessing many of you would have walked right past it. But awesome, awesome find right there, $150. This one comes from Nina's Jewels. She is also a Bolo Buddies member. If I say somebody is a Bolo Buddies member, that means they have joined memberships on the channel for perks at level two or higher and they will get a pop-up of their YouTube channel or their eBay store and a link down in the description. So I recommend that you all go down to the description and follow these eBay stores, check out their YouTube channels. They are Bolo finders. All right, so what did she sell? These hard to find vintage figurines are by the brand Hellman, H-E-L-A-M-A-N, and were created for the Mormon church. We sold the lot for our full asking price of 60 despite one figure having damage. We found them in a thrift store toy bag and paid 26 cents. There you go. Here's another one from Nina's Jewels. We found most of these Harry Potter bookmarks inside of the Harry Potter books in 10 languages that we picked up at a thrift store. The bookmarks were bonus freebies. The books are listed between $20 and $130 and we've sold several. These bookmarks sold on auction for $160. I'm sorry, for $60. 160 would have been awesome, but 60 is fantastic. It's 29 Harry Potter collectible bookmarks. Some of them have the little tassel. That is cool. Talk about parting it out and making the most for your, uh, the most out of a purchase. Here's another from Nina's Jewels. We picked up this Toyota Tacoma head unit at a garage sale for $40. It sold on best offer for 210 OEM car parts sell really well for us. And it looks like it sold for, yeah, 210 best offer. And then you can see right here the title. This one comes from The Quiet Thrifter. She said, I spotted this small Pyrex bowl at a thrift store and I recognized the pattern, but not the color. I paid four and did some research. Lo and behold, this pattern, Amish butter print, in the orange color is the sixth rarest of the Pyrex line. I put it up for auction and the winning bid was $203.50 and the buyer paid shipping. This is what it looks like. Yeah, I've got some videos on Pyrex. It is definitely not all created equal. You definitely have to find the right ones. So be careful because if you go to garage sales, a lot of times these items are overpriced uh, and you may not make money. So do your research, look it up. It can be pattern, like the print or the pattern, the color, the shape of the bowl, but sometimes it's specific to like a certain shape with a certain pattern being rare. Do you see what I'm saying? The rare ones are sometimes they have to have two things to make it rare. And those are the ones that can go for big money. All right, here we go. Uh, the Quiet Thrifter eBay store. I bought this new in the box Jim Shore Peanuts Christmas train at the Salvation Army for 15. I, it took about a month to sell and I took a best offer of 160 and the buyer paid shipping. Jim Shore. If you see it, look it up. Some goes for big bucks. Others are bread and butter, but Jim Shore is a pretty good item to pick up. The, I, I feel like the sell-through rate is pretty good if you have the item priced right. Some of the items are flooded though, so might be a good item for like Mercari or Poshmark if there's a ton on eBay. If you're not selling on Mercari and Poshmark, definitely check out those platforms. I sell on those as well as eBay. Um, I use List Perfectly to cross post. I start my items on eBay, cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. I have a demo video down below. You guys can check that out. If you decide you want to try cross posting and want to use List Perfectly, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. And um, I've been using it since 2019 and I still love it. This one also comes from a quiet thrifter. I scored this Cutco incomplete knife set at a garage sale for two bucks. It was late in the day and the sale was very picked over. Picked over sale and they still had Cutco? What? Okay, I saw the wood box sitting on the table, flipped open the lid and she said she about died. Proof that even treasure can be found when it looks like there's nothing left. Took about a week to sell and accepted a best offer of $115 and the buyer paid shipping. And this is what it looks like. This one comes from the Kitchy Kansan. Bought six vintage smoking pipes at an estate sale for $3 each. Two were worth good money and the four were worth about 15 to 25. I listed this one for 50 and took a best offer of 40 after six months of being listed. 
English Estates Digby Sandblasted Billiard 9487 by GBD Tobacco Pipe. This one is also this one. This one, when you create your own words, this one, this one. Does anybody else do that? Or is it just me? Probably just me. Uh, the Kitchy Kansen also shared this bolo. Found this beautiful ceramic tile at a local flea market for $12. I listed it for $80 and right out of the gate, it had several views and a few lowball offers. But finally, after a couple of weeks of being listed, I received an offer of $75 that I quickly accepted. Oh, it's beautiful. Look how pretty it is. It is a Pablita Vela Erde. <laughs> Santa Car Clara, Santa Clara Pueblo artist clay ceramic tile. And it's a Thunderbird. It's beautiful. This one also comes from the Kitchy Canson. I bid on an online auction lot of bluegrass and ceramic. Had no idea this was in the lot because the lid was closed and all the pictures. And it was actually the most valuable thing in the lot. I listed it for 50 and within 24 hours, I had an offer of 45 and I jumped on it. You have to love the surprise profits. Thank you, Courtney. You're welcome and thank you for sharing. Waterford Crystal Cobalt Blue Heart Hand Cooler Paperweight Original Case. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Picker Money Flipper on eBay and YouTube. Paid 50 at a yard sale for the Simons Electric Drum Set. Parted it out. Parted it it out <laughs> and the uh, module sold for 200. So this is just one part that sold for 200. The next one, these are from the same, is it Simmons or Simons? I think it's Simmons electric drum set that she paid 54 at a yard sale, sold three drum pads and one symbol to the same buyer for a total of $280 plus shipping. And this is what those look like. These are the other two pictures from the previous post. All right, so here's the rest of them. This one is also from Picker Money Flipper. Paid 50 cents at a yard sale and sold for $78.95 plus shipping. It is a rare vintage PSOLT model D-2 duck call, regular Pelkin, Illinois, or Peckin, regular Peckin, Illinois, number and it says reserve, no reserve, not number, no reserve. And this is what it looks like. $78.95 on that one. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out all those channels and eBay stores that I talked about in the video. They are linked down below. Um, I'm going to end with a little uh, pitch. Come see me on Whatnot. If you're not on Whatnot, there's a link down below. You can get $15 to shop and I go live over there. I was going live about three times a week, but guess what? I have started doing daytime shows and I'm loving it. So I'm going to be doing daytime and nighttime shows. I thought that I really was like a night owl and I really like night shows, but I'm really also enjoying the day shows. So a lot of you said, I can't come because you go on at night and you're on too late. Well, guess what? I'm on during the day now. So come see me. Use that link down below to get your $15 uh, to shop. That's my referral link. If you want to sell on whatnot, there's a link for that as well. And I recently released two videos telling you how to sell on whatnot, start to finish. Um, it's part one and part two. The second one is how to ship. So check those out and um, come hang out. Even if you don't buy anything, just come hang out in the chat. It is live and fun and we are all chit-chatting in the chat and it's a good time. So I hope to see you guys in the near future there and go over to the Facebook group and join if you haven't already and share your best October bolo and I will feature it in a video just like this. All right, you guys, again, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you at the next one and thanks for watching.